，玩具大成，揾边位 ？David Lanza here。嗯 ，Old friend， how are you？ This is cousin Harry trading post LLC. You have one, we have supply. What do you need? You still have my menu. We need an AK. One or three. Hmm. Of course, lam. AK one zero three. This is Russian classic. I like myself. But you know this is. One thousand seven hundred ninety-nine euro. We take la, ah, uh, cash, ah, uh, Bitcoin is okay la, ah, uh, diamond and thing. All those okay. Just no credit card, please. I don't have this kind of money. I need something cheaper and fast. Okay. Tell you what, I will give you AK one zero three, a version. I will give you half price off because we are such good friend. But you will owe me a small favor. This is good deal, lah. Today, I'm making a short review of the AK-103. What I have here is a Chinese AK made specifically for civilian market. It's made by SDM company and labeled as the AK-103. I would say that this rifle is mediocre at best. Shut your mouth, you mediocre clarinet player. Mediocre? So why even do a review? Well, we got a lot of requests in the comments under our videos because these rifles are readily available in Europe and they are quite economically priced. The rifle here is mostly in its original configuration, except for the mag. I'm using the Yugo Bolthold Open mags. These are built like a tank. The original one was just shitty Chinese uh, with a rivet through it, so it only held five rounds. And the front sight. This is or was our Polonar Tactical uh, front fiber optic sight for the AK that we tested it in this rifle and we shot so many rounds that we melted the fiber away. Um, and I did, just didn't bother to replace it yet. <laughs> but otherwise all of the other parts are stock. So why is this rifle shit? Where do I start? First, if you look closely at it, it doesn't have the 90 degree gas block, not really an AK-103 feature. The gas tube has holes in it, like the early AK-47 versions or the Chinese version. And of course, it's terribly fitted to the gas block. The sights are poorly fitted. The rear sight has a lot of side-by-side -side movement and a really weak spring. The front sight is not completely centered, so you have to move it to the right side to actually zero the rifle. The receiver and the trunnion are not really AK-103 pattern. They pretty much just used what they had in stock. Also the markings are terrible. The cover has a different bluing than the actual receiver and it's really poorly fitted to the rifle. It just moves and rattles all over. The plastic is not terrible but it's also not great. You can see that it barely has any glass fiber filling in it. It just looks like normal plastic. The rivets are quite okay, functional, but not that visually appealing. The folding buttstock works, but you need a lot of force to lock it in place, and then it doesn't want to unlock. 
and even to get it to function as good as it does it required me to use a lot of force and a hammer the integrated side rail a nice feature right well it's it's not true to the bore of the rifle the side rail is actually canted like this so you are unable to zero the rifle past 10 meters and the overall fit and finish of this rifle is absolutely terrible so why did i even buy this rifle because the price was right i got this one second hand for 300 euros that's around 350 americanski freedom dollars the guy was selling it for three reasons first one i think he discovered that he doesn't really like ak's second one he was not able to get a picatinny mount to be zeroed on the rifle because of the obvious reason and the third one he had problems with the trigger mechanism because of the retaining pins walking out and rifle pretty much stopped working but for only 300 euros i couldn't say no my initial plan was to buy this rifle and maybe convert it to something maybe make it um, a sleeper rifle uh, just like fully rusted with shitty furniture but perfectly working inside or some other stuff point of the story is I never really liked this rifle I didn't care for it uh, didn't shoot it much never cleaned it but all of that changed you know why it's so liberating if you don't care for the rifle I have two Yugo AKs at home really beautiful examples good finish overall excellent rifles but i always have to clean them even if you shoot one round out of it because it's corrosive ammo and because they don't chrome line the barrels which gives it better accuracy but still that means that you have to clean the rifle over and over again and really be meticulous um, check the barrel from time to time don't store it in humid conditions and so on with this one i don't give a fuck <laughs> the rifle itself it does rust of course it, it's metal but it has a chrome light barrel which is not perfect but i made hits on a target on a human sized target at 400 meters with this rifle with crooked sides so it shoots straight enough if we have some stupid idea that we want to film for example putting 556 round in an AK this is the rifle to go oh we have a new shooter that wants to try an AK and shoot with it of course here's the rifle just shoot away I don't care oh we have the Chinese surplus ammo that's really corrosive and probably radioactive well shoot away <laughs> so that's why I like this rifle it doesn't look pretty the finish is nothing to to be amazed by but it shoots straight it works functions flawlessly the trigger is okay the components are actually good quality way better than you can find in some of the US made guns and just it works and you then don't have to clean it and you don't have to care for it it's <laughs> so guys look this is basically the girl in college that loved you, but you didn't love her back and you know, she was kind of there for you all the time. So this is the rifle. You get what he's saying, okay? Double hook trigger. No noticeable wear on the trunnion. The bolt seems in perfect condition. At least the internals are made to spec. Really good. This is what happened when you put your thingy in college stinker. This video was brought to you by Slate Black Industries. For grips and accessories, visit polinotechnical.com shop. But all of that changed. Why?
<laughs> but all of that changed. You know why? <laughs> fuck off! Fuck off, no. Fuck, fuck off, no. Fuck off! Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off.